Your senior year course selection process will be very similar to last year's process. We will hand out course verification sheets in the spring so you can double check your senior year course selections. As you choose your classes, here are a few reminders about the scheduling process. Look up each course in your course description guide. This allows you to see the course name, description of class, and any recommendations or prerequisites for each class. Ask yourself, what is this course about? Am I eligible to take this course? Be aware of grade level. Make sure grade 12 is listed for each of your courses. Two other things to keep in mind when picking courses are prerequisites and recommendations. Prerequisites are denoted with an asterisk. This means there are classes or requirements that you must have completed before you can take a class. For example, to take Ceramics 1, you have to have already taken Intro to 3D Art. Recommendations are suggestions, so you can be successful in classes and can help with decision making. For example, to take AP Environmental Science, it is recommended that students have a B or better in chemistry. Choose required classes first and then pick your elective classes. It's important to fill your schedule with courses you need to graduate, and then you can add in the electives you want. Think about college and career options and discuss class choices with your parents. You want to select courses that will prepare you for your future. Obtain the recommendation, which is teacher initials, if necessary. Classes that need teacher initials will have an initial line beside it on the course selection sheet. This year, the scheduling process will look a little bit different. After you watch the scheduling video, you will still receive your senior course selection sheet, but then your counselor will be meeting with you individually starting Friday, February 14th to review your course selections and put your course requests in Power School instead of you putting them in on your own. You still need to turn in your senior course selection sheet by 335 on Thursday, February 13th. If you do not turn your course selection sheet in by the deadline, your counselor will choose your courses for you and put those courses in Power School. There are a few things that we want to remind you about earning credits. You earn one credit for every semester class you pass. A grade of a D minus, which is a 60% or higher, is a passing grade and earns you a credit. You should have around 34 credits by the end of your junior year, this school year, to be on track for a Core 40 diploma. If for some reason you need to make up credits to get back on track for graduation, we recommend you take classes during summer school. Summer school runs in two sessions, one in June and one in July. Summer school registration forms will be due sometime in April of 2020. To graduate with a diploma, there are some requirements that you need to keep in mind as you're selecting classes. If you are on track to earn a Core 40 diploma, you must earn 44 total credits by graduation. This includes eight English credits, six math credits, which requires Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2, six science credits, which include two Biology 1 credits, two credits in either ICP, Chemistry, or Physics, and two remaining credits in any Core 40 science class. Six social studies credits, which includes two credits in world history or geography, two credits in US history, one econ credit, and one government credit. Finally, you need two credits in PE, one health credit, and at least 15 electives to complete the required credits for the Core 40 diploma. If you are on track to earn an academic honors diploma, you must earn 47 total credits and all of those semester grades need to be a C- or higher. You must complete all of the requirements for the Core 40 diploma, plus two additional math credits for a total of eight math credits, six to eight world language credits, which means three years of one language or two years of one language and two years of another language, and two fine art credits. Another requirement is that you need to earn four credits in two or more AP courses and take the AP exam, or earn six college credits from our dual credit classes, or earn two credits in an AP course and three college credits from our dual credit courses. You also can meet this requirement by receiving certain scores on your SAT or ACT. At the end of your senior year, you must have a cumulative GPA of a 2.67 or higher on our 4.0 GPA scale. All these requirements are outlined in your course description book as well. There are a few additional requirements for graduating with your high school diploma. You must pass both the English and Math I-STEP test. You already took this test for the first time during the spring of your sophomore year. For those of you who have not yet passed both sections, you will be taking it again in February. Also, your counselor will meet with you individually to discuss options. You must also show proficiency in financial literacy by either passing the financial literacy test 
or by taking and passing either the adult roles class or the personal finance class. All graduation requirements must be met and completed in order to walk at commencement in June of 2021. There are no exceptions. If you wish to be a seven semester graduate, you need to meet with your counselor to make sure you have the correct number of credits and classes required to do this. You will then select seven semester grad on the top of your course selection sheet. Make sure you discuss this option with your counselor prior to making this selection. Please get out your senior year course selection sheet. The first course listed is no zero hour course. Zero hour is basically a class that meets before the regular school day begins and is considered period zero. If you do not want a zero hour course and just want to attend the regular seven period day, all you need to do is pick no zero hour course. If you would like to take a zero hour course, you have two options. The first option is to attend periods zero through six and leave after period six. So with this option, you still attend school for seven periods a day, but you start your school day a period early and then can leave school a period early. The other option is to attend periods zero through seven. So with this option, you're here eight periods a day. If you would like to attend zero hour and leave school early after sixth period, you will select no period seven course. Keep in mind that if you select no period seven course, you will need to provide your own transportation to and from school as you will start your school day early and end it early. If you would like to attend periods zero through seven, you choose nothing. You will then have 16 course selections since you will be staying at school eight periods a day for periods zero through seven. Again, keep in mind that if you stay all eight periods, you will need to provide your own transportation to school since you will be starting early. At the top of your senior year course selection sheet, there is some important information that needs to be filled in and completed. Please make sure you fill out all of the information at the top of your course selection sheet, especially your intended diploma type. Marking your intended diploma type is very important as your counselor will use this to track and make sure you are working towards earning the specific diploma you indicated on your course selection sheet. As you choose your classes for your senior year, you need to make sure you are retaking any failed courses. Then make sure you have your required courses then you can choose electives after you have taken care of those first two things. When you make your course selections, you will have a total of 16 check marks. Study halls can be chosen as all year or just one semester. Consider extracurricular activities when picking a study hall. Reminder that all prerequisites are marked with an asterisk. Make sure you meet all prerequisites. Also, when choosing courses, keep in mind that some courses require an application, audition, and or recommendation. Your course selection sheet will denote when any of those are required. Your counselor does check these, and if you do not have the requirements, your counselor will remove this course from your course selections and replace with another elective. On your course selection sheet, you'll notice there are year-long and semester-long courses. If there are two lines, and if the course ends in one and two, this means it's a year-long course and you must choose both semesters. For example, U.S. History has two lines and the course number is 8221 and 8222. If a course ends with the number 6, this means it's a semester-long course. Again, make sure you select no zero-hour course or no period 7 course found above the required courses on the left-hand side of the course selection sheet, or if you want to be here all eight periods, you will not select either of these options. There are some required courses that all seniors need to have on their course selection sheet. The first is English. You have to take one writing and one literature or AP language. Options for writing include technical communication, creative writing, or composition dual credit. Options for literature include novels or literary interpretation dual credit. If you're wondering to yourself, which writing class should I choose, here's something to think about. Technical communication would be good for students who are not planning to attend college after high school, but just need to satisfy the English requirement. Creative writing or composition dual credit would be good choices for those students who are going on to college after high school graduation. If you choose composition dual credit, you have to earn dual credit for this class. It is no longer optional like it has been in the past. Literary Interpretation Dual Credit is a new class and is a good option for students who plan to go on to college after high school graduation. However, it's important to check with the admissions office of the college you are thinking of attending to see if the dual credit will transfer. If you failed your English 11 class and need to retake it, we recommend you retake it in summer school if possible. 
If you do not retake English 11 over the summer, you will need to select the semester or semesters of English 11 that you failed and mark it on your senior year course selection sheet along with your senior year English courses. Now let's move on to social studies. Everyone, regardless of diploma type, must choose a government class. Options for government include regular government, government dual credit, or AP government. If you are earning a Core 40 diploma or higher, you must take both government and economics. Options for economics include regular economics, economics dual credit, and AP microeconomics. Government and economics are both offered in summer school. If you do not take either or both of these courses in summer school, then both courses must be on your course selection sheet. If you do plan on taking either or both of these courses in summer school, mark them on the summer school form, but not on your course selection sheet. Then turn in your summer school form along with your course selection sheet. This way, when your counselor doesn't see government and or economics on your course selection sheet, she will know that you are planning to take it in summer school. Now let's move on to math. For a Core 40 diploma, you must take Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. If you've taken all of these courses, you are technically done with your math requirements for the Core 40 diploma, but you still need to take a Quantitative Reasoning course senior year. For an Academic Honors diploma, you must take those same three courses plus one more year of advanced math beyond Algebra 2. When choosing that math course beyond Algebra 2, you will also want to think about what the college admittance requirements are for math. To find this out, go to the college's website and see what they require. For example, some colleges just require those three years of math for the Core 40 diploma, but some other colleges also require pre-calc and trig on top of those three math classes. There are also math labs that can be taken along with your math class. If you struggle in math, we really encourage you to take a lab with your math class as the labs are beneficial in helping students be successful in math. Check with your math teacher and see your counselor if you have any questions. You must be concurrently enrolled, enrolled in those specific math classes to take those labs. The labs are only for regular geometry, algebra 2, and pre-calc trig, not the STEM or dual credit versions. Let's talk more about math before moving on. You have several options when it comes to math classes for your senior year. We have added the following new math classes, pre-calculus dual credit, trigonometry dual credit, finite dual credit, and quantitative reasoning dual credit. Pre-calc dual credit and trig dual credit are not necessarily new classes, but will now be separate classes from regular pre-calc and trig. So if you choose these classes, you must earn dual credit. If you do not want the dual credit for pre-calc or trig, then you should choose regular pre-calc trig or pre-calc stem and trig stem. So there are now three levels for pre-calc and trig, regular pre-calc, pre-calc dual credit or pre-calc stem, and regular trig, trig dual credit, and trig STEM. STEM is designed for students who plan to major in a math intensive area in college, so you should be taking the STEM version, not dual credit. Check your course description guide for descriptions and additional information on all of the math options. You really need to think about what math course is right for you. Talk to your current math teacher and counselor when deciding to help choose the math course that's most appropriate for you. The last required course is science. We have added a few new science courses for next year, including chemistry dual credit and biology dual credit. You will notice in the science section of your course description guide that we no longer have chemistry one honors. If you are a student who is not planning to major in a science field in college, the dual credit option may be good for you. Students who do want to major in a science field in college might want to consider taking AP or STEM science classes. Before you begin to choose your electives, ask yourself, did you fail any courses? If you did, our first recommendation would be to make up the failed class during summer school. If you do not retake failed courses during summer school, then you will need to make those failed classes a part of your senior year course selections. See your counselor with questions. Does your diploma require a world language? If you are on track for an academic honors diploma, then you need at least three years of a world language or two years of one language and two years of another language. A world language is not required for a Core 40 diploma, but we recommend two years of a world language as many colleges would like to see that on a high school transcript. Once you are done selecting your required courses, you can then select elective courses. Please be aware of teacher recommendations and signatures that are needed for some elective classes. For example, many fine art classes require recommendation or signature. 
Electives are also a great opportunity to select classes that are in your career or future interest areas or relate to what you are going to study in college. If you don't know what you want to do after high school, that's okay. Exploring different electives is a great way to find out your interests. If you applied for one of the special programs like internship or ICE, please check the window outside of the guidance office to see if you were accepted. If your name is on the list, that means you can put this on your course selection sheet. If your name is not on the list, you cannot put this on your course selection sheet. The special programs include Career Exploration Internship, Work-Based Learning Internship, Cooperative Education, which you would probably know this as ICE, Education Professions 1, Health Science Ed 2 Nursing, Health Science Ed 2 Athletic Training, Nutrition Science Careers 1 or 2, Culinary Arts 1 or 2, and the School Store Intro to Entrepreneurship. In addition to the numerous classes that Carol offers, Anthus Career Academy is another option. See your course description guide for details on the many Anthus Career Opportunities. You must be able to provide your own transportation to be in the Anthus Career Academy program. If you are interested in Anthus, there is a meeting on February 5th in the Multipurpose Room at 1.30 to learn more about the Anthus programs. You must sign up for this meeting outside of guidance prior to February 5th. You will receive some great information about all of the programs available. At the meeting, you will receive an application and extra applications will be available in the guidance office. These applications are due to the guidance office by February 13th at 335. Anthus student selections will be made at the end of February, February and you will be noticed if you are accepted or not. Once your senior year course selection sheet has been filled out with your selection of required and elective classes, you should have a total of 16 check marks, 14 for classes and two for either no zero hour course or no period seven course. Or if you're wanting an eight period day, you will have 16 check marks for classes and would not mark anything for no zero hour course or no period seven course. Just leave those blank in this case. Make sure you have some alternate courses chosen on the back of your course selection sheet. Make sure your course selection sheet is signed by a parent, and remember, the sheet is due by 335 on Thursday, February 13th. If your counselor does not receive your course selection sheet by the due date, she will choose your classes for you. Remember, you will not be putting your course selections in PowerSchool on your own as you've done in the past. Rather, your counselor will be meeting with you individually to review your courses, and then she will input them on PowerSchool with you. A reminder that if you have failed a required class or are behind in credits to graduate on time, you should sign up for summer school. If you plan to take a class during summer school, you need to turn the signed summer school form in with your course selection sheet. If you don't turn in a summer school form, that class must be chosen on your course selection sheet. If you have any questions about your course selections, failed classes, summer school, etc., you can see or email your counselor. Mrs. Wingard and Mrs. Kimes will be available in the comments before and after school, beginning today after school until course selection sheets are due on Thursday, February 13th. If you have a study hall, you can ask your teacher for a pass to come see us during the school day. You can also email us with any questions. Please do not fill out a blue counselor request form to see us about scheduling questions. The blue forms are for this year's classes, personal issues, etc. Again, senior year course selection sheets are due Thursday, February 13th by 3.35 p.m. Wow, 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 wow,